How's that doing? I'm here in my cabin doing a bit of work, planning some projects for Christmas and projects for next year. Whilst I'm quiet, I've got my little radiator next to me here. Yeah? The weather's absolutely garbage outside. That's not my problem though. Um, so today, I want to talk to you about a few basic things that you can do to step out of the Babylon mindset. Yeah? Babylon basically is the control system. Many cultures, especially Rastafarians, talk about Babylon. And um, it is that sort of like predatory mindset, really, which is what infiltrates a lot of the planet, especially this country, in that doggy dog bullshit mentality that, that is so common. So for those of you who might be struggling with business, for those of you who are struggling with your jobs, for those of you, you might be struggling with money. Some might, you might not be. You might just be getting absolutely hammered, and you might be sort of like your soul might be weeping because you've been given tasks and you've been spoken to by certain people at work, and you know that dread, general drudgery of life, which is designed to kill you by a death of a thousand cups. If these words are speaking to you. Um, I broke away massively. I'm still involved with this system because I've still got a role to play. I'm still working in communities. I've got a house. I've got a mortgage. I've got kids. Yeah, but I've basically re reworked it massively on my terms. And I'm just going to share a few bits of things that's enabled me to get there. Three major things, really. Three golden rules for breaking out the bubble on mindset, enabling your own beautiful soul qualities to come out and do their thing which promotes good health and everything. Anyway, number one is, it's a piece of shit walk away. Now, it might not be the right time for you to walk away from a job or a relationship or whatever, but number one is, is just being able to admit, admit it to yourself that it's a piece of shit, yeah? It takes time for, for, for pressure to be able to build up for, for people to be able just to walk away or make that break. But first of all, you've got to recognise it, yeah? When I was going through my stuff, when I used to work for local government as a youth and community worker and also as a Connections personal advisor, um, I was suffering a lot with stress. I was suffering a lot in my solar plexus here, which is the solar chakra, it has a lot to do with will. And it was my will versus the, the organisation and the organisational culture. And there's only one winner, I'm afraid, and that's the organisational culture. If you're working in a small little organisation with people who are fought on the same mindset, then obviously you can start that you can start to permeate that mentality, and you can start to grow. But if you, you're talking about the beast here, there's only one winner, and that's them. Some people might not be fully awake. Some people are just younger souls or whatever. But it came to the point when I was I was in the I was gone for a fad because I was smoking at the time because I was stressed, and I just did one, gone, never to come back ever again. Yeah. And that is how bad it got. But that was my, that my moment because enough was enough. All these three points that I'm going to speak to you now are all about self-forgiveness. Yeah? I have had enough and I am not going to take it anymore because my health is suffering, my marriage is suffering, my children are suffering, I am suffering. There's got to be more to life than this. Big one, big one. And it goes deep, it goes very deep. Number one. Number two would be, what would it be? Number two. Number two is, is being aware of your own passion and having the confidence and the will to back it up with sort of like a, um, a childish, foolish kind of a, of, of a desire really. I had, we talked a bit about the organisational culture, colleagues, the mentality, uh, basically trying to tell me that what I do and what I was doing and what I wanted to do was wrong. And I knew that I was right in my, my whole approach to working with people. Since then I've gone to university, I've done a lot of reflection, um, I'm, I do, I've got my own practices and they work. So it's about basically not giving into the brainwashing and, have, and leaving a channel open 
for heart-centered higher consciousness to say to you, you're right here, you are right, there's something, despite all of, all of what you're hearing, you are right, you are right, and I want to do what I want to do. So it's a mixture of following your own bliss, it's a mixture of rebelliousness, it's a mixture of shielding yourself from bullshit and propaganda, yeah? 2011 has set me on company up, and now I'm doing what I love, I'm doing what I am born to do, and because of that it goes well, and I've got a good life and health is well, and everyone's happy. Number three, on a very practical note, right? Obviously you're coming out of a, of a, a very secure situation, yeah? Where your rent's paid, your mortgage is paid, you're on a salary, you've got Flexi Plus and all the rest of it, you know, you, it's pretty much a no-brainer to go uh, to, to, to stay. That's the ego talking to you, saying stay within the control paradigm. But your heart's saying something else, yeah, and you know you've got to because you just got to do it. So, on a very practical note, finances. Now, a lot of people are in that mindset, that Babylon mindset, where I've got to. Everyone's living for the future. I'm going to retire. Um, I'm going to have so much saved up. I'm going to have so many properties and um, they're flogging themselves to death basically based on a stupid imaginary carrot which is a lot of crap what you what you got to do is this is live for the moment live for the moment that's what life's all about carpe diem yeah okay so you, you've got all these debts which everyone's got yeah you're paying them off you're trying to bang them off aren't you get them, get them done get them out of the road keep your credit score high all the rest of it Basically, are you being too hard on yourself? I was far too hard on myself. Once you get over the fear of taking on authority, which you've already discussed, authority can be the bank, it can be the credit reference agency, it can be the expectations of friends and the expectation of family, you know, and all those things that come with it, cars, houses, clothes, holidays. So what you can do, is basically say to the people that you owe money to, the organisations, I can't afford it anymore. I've done it. And now I pay them so much each. Yeah. Not fully knowing that I'm going to be working for years and years and years doing what I love, but working, not working full time like most people. I just work whenever it comes along. I love it. It pays the bills. I've built myself a good lifestyle. And... I know that also that the financial system is going to collapse and change massively. So I'm not all, I'm not all in basically. I'm just watching it. Yeah. So having the balls to take them on, having the balls to be honest with them and saying, "Listen, I know you owe your money. That's fair enough. But I'll give you what I can afford based upon because I'm going to make a gamble here now. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to invest in myself. Yeah. In terms of my own professional career or what I want to do, my own time, my own health." Yeah, because if, if you carry on down this path, this bullshit path, you get cancer, heart disease, stress, die early, stupid really. So you back yourself, you, you create dialogue, you overcome the fear of authority and the credit reference agency, have a chat with them, yeah, get a loan or maybe you've got a savings or maybe you've got redundancy like I've got, you speak to your partner if you've got one, listen because, you know, like to get them on board is really important, you know, and you get something in place. And you put one foot in front of the other, in front of the other, in front of the other, in front of the other. Before you know it, if you truly back yourself, you're good at what you do, you're well researched, you, you know, your heart's in it, you apply yourself mentally. In this current energetic soup that we're in at the moment, which is backing all the way those people who want to truly contribute to Mother Earth and do something which they're born to do naturally and not unnatural, destructive, predatory mindsets, yeah, those are going, yeah, so you need to be getting on the positive vibe, yeah, but it means taking responsibility, it means standing up, it means going through some pain, it means learning some new skills, it can be the thing that adds so much more meaning into your life, so all I can say is, be good to yourself, yeah, create space for yourself, go for it. There has never been a better time to express your highest self right now. Okay guys, love you, speak soon.